All right, guys, what's up? This is I Themer with another review here. But today I'm not going to be doing a Winterboard review. I am frankly sick of Winterboard because I have to uh, keep uh, changing backboard layouts and not all my preferences get saved. So I don't want to go on Dreamboard. So uh, Dreamboard is now free in the City Store. You can go grab it off there on the Mod My iPhone repo. But for now, I will just be showing you the theme. The theme today that I'm going to be showcasing is OSX Lion Ultimatum by Sir Timothy One. I'll put all his description, the link to the uh, mod my iPhone thread in the bottom in the description down there. But other than that, this is a really good theme. So what you're going to do is you need Dreamboard for as well. So you're just going to click on Dreamboard. You should SSH it into your device. Because it's still in beta right now. It SSH it into the Dreamboard folder. And click on OS X Lion. It takes a lot of time to set up, but it's a really, really good thing. Alright, so here we start it off. This is the theme. It looks exactly like Lion. There is a launch pad with all your apps on it. Perfect. You could just click on the launch pad and it goes away. Macintosh HD takes you to the uh, uh, sort of uh, file browsing finder, sort of. You can actually move it around. You can uh, open desktop. You can. You can't customize these necessarily. You can change them in the file itself, but not in the team. You would, this is a phone application, takes you right to the phone or FaceTime if you have an iPod. Dashboard takes you right to the dashboard. Now the thing about the dashboard is you will need to install uh, Crazy Dashboard version 1 from Cydia to get the weather widget to work. But other than that, pretty cool, pretty really cool theme. Mail, I put a password for that. FaceTime, or uh, messages iPod doesn't link, but that's because I have an iPod. I need to uh, set that up. Customizable menu about this Mac. It even it shows you the iPod updates. Like it shows you. See, you can see that it's not saying some crappy Mac stuff. It's actually saying the uh, processor name that the iPod uses. Click on software update, it goes directly to Cydia. You can move it around as always. Customizable favorites. Edit mode. This is an edit mode. You click on the uh, trash can. Edit mode, non edit mode, things like that. Search. You can search. That the pressing the search button just brings up the status bar. The time takes you to the clock application. And yeah, pretty much that's this theme. Uh, this is currently in beta testing, so it'll be interesting to see how this comes out. So I'm just going to show you a few uh, skins that they have. Uh, I'll show you some crap. System preferences, settings menu, wallpaper, dock takes you. It doesn't want you to change the position, but you can if you hide the dock, it uh, hides. If you show the dock, it shows. Very nice, very interactive. If you want to log out, it goes back to Dreamboard. So you can switch around like that. The only thing I see in this bit is that after you've done using it, the icons kind of got messed up, as you can see right there. But I'm sure it's just because I'm on 4.2.1, the crappiest firmware ever. Alright guys, this has been another review on a, this time, a Dreamboard theme by, called by uh, Sir Timothy number one, t or Timothy Elliot. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys later on the flip side. Peace out.